All right, in this video, I'm going to draw the letter T in two-point perspective. So if you remember, in two-point perspective, with a small cube off to the side, horizon line, two vanishing points, it's that corner that's actually closest to the viewer. And then you have the side planes that recede back to the vanishing points with you know, the cutoffs of how far uh, back the, the cube goes, and then you have those other changes in plane receding back to their opposite vanishing points and you have a two-point perspective box. And the key thing to remember is really the front face of whatever the object is is actually angled in such a way back to a vanishing point, so you have the corners of whatever it is, or a corner, uh, that is closest to the viewer. So if I'm going to apply that to the letter, um, again, just using the letter T, because that's fairly simple, I need to have my horizon line, I need to have two vanishing points, I'm gonna keep them pretty far away from each other to try to not get some distortion. And I need to start with that corner closest to me. Now with the letter T, if I were to draw that straight on, we've got a couple things happening here. We have this edge and this edge. And if I were to tilt the T or if I were to take that and rotate it, it would kind of look like they were a straight line coming straight down. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just focus on having this corner. The T is pretty much made up into two rectangles. This top one that's laying flat horizontally and then this one that's down here making the neck of the T that is vertical. So I'm going to use that to my advantage and I'm going to start off with a straight line. Remember vertical lines are vertical in two-point perspective. And so this is going to be the top part of my T and I'm going to start by bringing the top and bottom of this first rectangle, this top rectangle, back. I'm going to chop that off however far back I want it to go. Um, so I'm going to chop it off here. Okay, and then I'm going to, from there, another vertical line, another edge, and that is going to be the neck of my T. And I can, if I wanted to, I can go ahead and put the other leg down there because this is my T. But in order for me to chop off where the bottom is, that's where I need to align up the one that's closest to me, the viewer, to the vanishing point. Okay, so just like that. So all of these extra lines I'm going to erase. So I have one angled side of my letter T. And then all of the corners, so all of the changes in plane, go back to their opposite vanishing points. I already took all these guys down to this one vanishing point, so now I'm going to be taking these changes of plane and going back to the other vanishing point. So right now I have a flat T. I want to have dimension to him. And this dimension specifically is in two-point perspective. So practically speaking, this would be as if someone took a block letter T and rotated it so the corner was closest to me. I'm going to go ahead and draw all of these changes in plane back to the vanishing point, even the ones that I might not actually be able to see if this T were opaque. So I'm going to be drawing all of the corners back to the opposite vanishing point here. Oh, I missed one. Do, do, do. As if this T were made of glass, just like that. Because now I need to chop off the T. So remember that this corner is going to correspond to this guy right here because they work together to help make that side plane of the top part of my T. So however far back I want my T to go, remember vertical lines remain vertical, and I know where to chop off the top and bottom of it because it's going to run along the line of these two corners that correspond. So just like that, so I can bold in this plane. So this little guy right here, he needs to go back to his opposite vanishing point. It wouldn't make sense to bring him back here. He's already going back to that right vanishing point. So I'm going to line him up to my left vanishing point, And I know where he should stop because he's going to run right into there. Ta-da! All right, so now this bottom part of the T, like the neck part of the T, how do we know how far back to draw him? You actually need to finish the top part of the T as if it were um, clear in order to help you find the intersection to get this bottom part of the T. So with this corner that I just found, I overshot that. I've got a couple lines running together and that's okay. Just keep it straight in your mind. This vertical line coming straight down here, remember this corner correlates to this guy, 
So that means that this corner is going to correlate to this guy because it runs into this line. And that also means that if I were to line this guy up with this left vanishing point, it's going to line up with, if I can get it to line up, there you go, this guy right here. Okay, so everything's making sense. All of the corners of the planes are corresponding. And that gives me an intersection right there. And it's that intersection that I can make a vertical line going straight down. And that is going to be how far back I need to cut off this bottom part of my T. Now, in like manner, I actually just discovered I forgot that line. He needs to go back to the vanishing point if he were clear. Because then this guy um, can have an intersection right there. And then that would come straight down. Oh, I did not draw him well. Connect those guys and those guys would line up to the vanishing point. So I now have my T in two point perspective, but I'm seeing all of the guidelines. I'm seeing this as if it were clear. So if it were not clear, if it were opaque, I'm gonna bold in the outline of what it is that we would see. Okay, so we have our left edge right there, okay. We have our right panels right here. Okay, we also have this and this and the top plane. And for added understanding, I can erase what we would not see also. Anything in here? We wouldn't see anything down here. Remember, this would be as if the T were not made of glass. If it were opaque, we can't see through it. So we're just seeing these planes that our eyes can see, which are the ones facing us um, at an angle and then the top plane. Remember, we're seeing the top plane because the horizon line is our eye level. So we're looking down upon this letter T. So this would be the letter T in two-point perspective.